What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Guys, today we are going to try and get the last thing done for hard mode on the Forgotten. We're going to try and go to the Beast. Let's see what we do. Yeah, we will still actually... Oh, we got a XL floor here. But we will still have to do greedier mode on this character. But yeah, this is what we're going to try and do here. See if I can just take some... Red heart damage, grab that and get out of here. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, I done messed up. That was a bad spot for me to be in. Do we have a bomb? We don't have a bomb. Lazy worm. No, we did it again. Oh my goodness. Now I need a red heart. Otherwise, we're going to lose our 100% chance for a double deal. So we're playing the lost for now, which we can only take so much damage. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. Not good, not good, not good. All right. Let's get rid of this champion. Okay. Uh-huh. Little sketch. <laughs> Think we're going to be fine, though. Okay, there's our heart. Nice. That's what we needed. And free keys for the rest of the floor. Awesome. You done. Pop that open. Ooh, we get health up. Um... We'll come back for this. I do want that on one of my for my bone hearts, but we'll come back for that. Oh man. Uh yeah, I guess I just use my ghosty ghost, right? I was like, how am I gonna do that without taking damage? Yeah, that's how you do it without taking damage. Alright, item room one. What do we get? Forget me now. Interesting. That is actually going to get used, I think. Okay, item room two we are on the lookout for. Uh-huh, there it is. I think we'll go down before we go to that. Yeah, here we go. We'll just use a loss. Take care of this guy. Should be the... Oh, okay. I scooched uh, further than I was thinking I should. Uh, yeah. We're not going to be taking sharp straw, I don't think. Okay. There's a lot of things in here that I want. Um... I think we make a withdrawal. I think we take the present with us for an additional boss item or an additional devil deal item. And I think if you take a devil deal item like that, it doesn't count as actually taking a devil deal so we can still get angel rooms. Or do I take the, the 4.5 volt? Man, I don't know. I think we take this. We'll come back for the forget me now. We won't leave this floor. Okay, making our way to the boss one. Really would like to get a couple more cents so I can get a, that other soul heart that was in there. We only got half a soul heart for our lost character. Oh, you know what? We actually had a, a bomb. We could have gotten that marked rock earlier. Okay, well, it's what I, oh, okay. That guy jumped over the rock. And it was a champion, so it did a full heart of damage, which is not good. Let me go back and find that halfy we dropped earlier. Do not want to lose my bone heart. Was that the only red heart? Yeah, that's the only red heart. Okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, money, 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 money. Give me a nickel. Nothing. Unfortunate. All right, let's go fight the boss. Baby Plum. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Stay back, Plum. Whoa, okay. Good, it dropped a heart and we get that. I think I'm gonna take them both as bone hearts though. Actually, I'm just gonna take this, which will fill up my bone heart and give me health, yep. Yeah. All right, let's fight boss number two. Little Horn. I think that did damage to him. Pretty sure it did, he was pretty low. Very good. Okay, so Binky. That's tears up. We get some soul heart action out of that. Uh, we have a present. Just gonna try to make this a little safer for us in here, just so I don't take some damage accidentally. So we'll use a present here. Satanic Bible. So that gives us a black heart. Uh, we could have two book touch if we go for double deals for the rest of this, but I don't think I want to do that. Any money? Any money? Any money? No money. Okay. So now we go back and grab the eternal heart and that forget me now. Thing is, I don't know. Oh, you know what? There was some money back over here. There might be enough for a soul heart. I know there is at least one penny left behind by this eternal heart. I don't know how many there were. Maybe if there's two, we can get that soul heart as well. There is. Okay. So things are looking up. We'll have plenty of health to redo. Now, since this is Basement XL, I don't know if using the Forget Me Now takes us to Basement 2 or Basement 1. I don't actually know how that works. Okay. I think we're good. What was in here? The straw. All right. Uh, Forget Me Now. All right, so that takes us right back to basement one, which is interesting. <laughs> 120 volt is actually pretty good. Anything that gets close to me gets zapped, and I think that arcs to other monsters. All right. We are collecting items very well on basement. Okay, we are getting hearts and stuff in here, too. Stay back. Get an eternal heart at the start of every floor. That is coming with me. Okay, we have a judgment. Piggy bank could be good. We don't have money, though, unfortunately. Whoa, well, that was close. <laughs> that was close multiple times. All right, we're getting plenty of keys. We have three bombs, three keys. Mm-hmm. And one whole penny. Okay, this guy's going to explode. I feel like I should just use a loss on him. There we go. Uh, I think we, well, there is still another room. I kind of want to full explore. Wasn't worth it, unfortunately. Okay, let's go fight the boss. It is famine. All right, so we get an orbital. Orbital and a soul heart. Hey. I think we're good to go. We're out of here.
Okay, so burning basement two. We don't get a hundred percent chance for a devil deal. Oh, a free soul heart out of that poo. I like it. Our health is looking real good. Maggie's faith gave us that eternal heart. Hopefully we can keep it. How did that hit me? Guys, it cheated. It literally cheated. Red health everywhere. Red health everywhere. I like it. This is perfect for the 120 volt right here. These guys. Uh huh. Oh, I thought he was going to just walk right into the fire there. I was rooting for it. Did not do that though. What's well, still alive? Another spider? Okay. We are going to go into the cursed room. Uh-huh. Stay back. Stay back. Well, that's real nice, actually. Okay. So I am going to do this. Oh, didn't work. Dang. Just was a little too slow there. Unfortunate. Hey, more money. I like it. Matchbook. More bombs. We'll hold off on taking that. Mom's pet. Uh, that's a mom item touch. We have to take it with us, though. Alright. I guess. Dice room. Is this the five? <laughs> it's the five. What is this? What is this run? Angel bosses drop normal items instead of key pieces. And I really would like to take that. We might grab that before we use the number five room. We just lost our eternal heart. That sucks. But we didn't lose our deal chance because of that either. Well, I guess we wouldn't have, regardless. Uh, but you know what? We should probably take that with us. Oh, oh, we got Curse of the Maze on this floor, don't we? Right? Yeah, Curse of the Maze. We should grab that feather in case we do get an angel room. Maggie's faith is pretty good, but I don't necessarily think we need it right now. Sharp plug is pretty good, but let's blow this guy up for the higher deal chance. Okay. Bouse time. All right, so the turdlings, this should be fine. Should be fine. Maybe it won't be fine. I was actually kind of expecting the uh, 120 volt to be putting in a little bit more work here than what it's doing. Okay, well we did that without taking any damage, so that's that's real good. And we got an angel room. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna blow up these fires first of all, so they don't shoot at me. Uh, yeah, grants flight health up, heals one red heart. I think we will hold off on taking this until after we fight the angel. We should probably also put judgment in here, too. We have 10 cents. Hopefully it's the other... Eh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Let's blow up the angel. Okay, it is the easier angel. This is Uriel. I was in a really bad spot there for that move. Mm hmm Nice. That's so good, guys. Okay. 
This treasure rooms now contain devil deals. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. But we will take this. We will take that. We're looking real good. Oh my goodness, guys. So I think we're going to hold on to this feather. And I think we are going to grab this matchbook. And we're going to get ourselves another basement floor. <laughs> we're going to leave Maggie's faith behind. We're basically full up on health. There's no reason to take it. We're out of here. We're like 16 minutes into this run, we're still in basement. <laughs> With so many items, this is this is crazy. Like, when do you ever get a run like this? When do you ever get a run like this? You basically don't, so I'm gonna savor this one. Come back. See if we can find some more red health. Uh, if we find enough red health, I might drop my HP down real low and try and go into the one heart challenge room there. Although this could be secret right here. Let's just see. Maybe it's not. Okay. We could try for planetarium at this point as well by not going into our item rooms. Belt is pretty good. Candle is pretty good. I think we're going to take the belt. Higher damage. Higher champion rate, but higher damage. We are going to blow this guy up as well for the higher deal chance. Maybe we get another angel room. Who knows? Another bone heart. Well, I'm not going to take that until I see red health. Because if we take that and we take one hit, then we lose our deal chance, right? That just is silly. Get some red health in here. Any red health? Looking for some red health here. Any red health? Nope, just another penny. Okay, so we have 15 cents. There was the candle that we could buy. I think the candle makes sense. We'll take that over mom's pad, which I am not really interested in keeping. All right, let's go fight the boss, whatever this is. It is Gemini. All right. Champion Gemini. Can definitely feel that damage. We got a double deal this time, plus some money. All right, let's see what the double is. Judgment. It's actually dumb putting it in here with no money in my hand. Okay. I don't think we do this. I would like to get the opportunity. You know what? Sack rooms. Do sack rooms work? I don't know. With our feather item, does that mean those angels drop angel items as well or regular items? I don't actually know how that works. But what I am going to do, we're going to use this even though we don't have health to go back into our HP pool. See if we can get some extra money here or something else happening. Hey, a nickel. There's some health. Nice. I guess we can put some soul health into that if we get enough soul hearts. Our luck is just crazy on this run. I'm not sure what's going on. We 
need that red hoe? Nope. There is another soul heart on the floor, so we can put two soul hearts worth of health in there as well, and then like still have full health on our lost. I guess I don't even have to swing. My 120 volt will take care of it for me. As long as I'm not standing too close to where it like spawns on top of me. Nice. That's about as good as you can get. We are super ready to go now. Full health. We, uh, we're leaving soul hearts behind is how much health we have. So we're going to leave our item room, try and get increased. Ah, I should have gone into the one heart challenge room. Ding. Secret room here? No, secret room's not there. Secret room's probably here then. Nice. Very good, very good. And then we can use our candle to pop this guy. More money, 24 cents. All right, we are officially out of here now. <laughs> Can we leave the basement? Oh my goodness, we're like over 20 minutes into the basement. Let's go. All right, we should have done this already, but the next trinket that we get, I need to drop in an item room or the boss room. We need to remember to leave it in there anyway. Okay, counterfeit penny is pretty good. Let's actually take that with us for now so we can try and get some more some more uh, money. But we're gonna take the feather with us for sure into the boss room and beyond. I don't think the spiders can jump into the void. Even if they see you, I don't think they can do that. Okay. Increase knockback. Ideally, we get mom's coin purse or whatever. And then we can take both these trinkets with us and then put the blister in the boss room. Wishbone also is something we can just throw in the boss room either way. Okay, just keep clearing, see what else we find here. Secret room? Do this, do this, blow you up, more money is good. We're probably gonna see greed in the shop whenever we find that. So many consumables. This feels real good compared to other runs that we've had. Uh, we don't really need anything here. Touching this would give us five bombs, I think, right? Yeah, plus five bombs. Sure, we'll take that. Just for the bombs, we'll set it back. We don't need the ladder, we already have flight. So many trinkets on this floor. It's like the game is telling us to do something. All right. Found our item room. Oh, get okay there, buddy. That's a possibility. What do we got in here? There's some troll bombs. We ignore the item room once again, trying to get ourselves a planetarium. So 31 cents. Yeah, there's really nothing in there. Waste a few bombs here. Okay, just some pills. 
Uh, we need the feather before we go into the boss room in case we get an angel room. And then we need to grab another trinket to toss in that boss room so we get ourselves a cracked key so we can unlock the tainted version of the forgotten. So we'll come back out, grab that wishbone, and drop it in the boss before we switch floors. Wait, I can still hit him when he's turned around? We did get an angel room, wow! More tears up? Monstrance, huh? Okay, we got Gabriel this time. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's gotta be like the worst item. Make sure we don't touch that when we leave. I don't want to leave with it. Okay, so we put the blister, no, wishbone in here. Okay, grab the feather. And... I think we're out of here. Super secret might be right here. It could be off the side of this too. It's really hard to, to know for sure where it is. Okay. There's like so many other places. It could be probably at the other end of the curse room. But there's a bunch of places it could be, so let's just go. All right, we got another arcade in here. Just a blood bank. Well, if we need money, we'll probably come back and revisit for right now. I think we're fine. Pretty sure that was the secret room next to the one heart challenge room there. Okay, we got a bunch of batteries in here. Let's, let's do this. Oh, that is not the secret room. Wow, okay. I really expected that to be. Okay. So item room we're going to ignore again. Hoping for a higher planetarium chance. That will be our third item room we have skipped. So much stuff. Two of diamonds, all right. Let's see where the, oh, okay. We're actually just gonna use it here. You know what? If it pays out before we hit, or when we hit 49, okay, it's just gonna die. Higher deal chance for the win. Our tier rate's so good. More bombs. We're gonna try here, here, and this is super secret if I had to guess. Okay, let's push these together and blow them up. Alright, 
Keep going. So, we did not find the shop. Let's backtrack. We still have this two of diamonds. Oh, that's right. We can't flight. I was like, oh no, I don't want to take this thing. Uh-huh. You're done, you're done, you're done. All right, shop greed. No, it is not greed. And we get ourselves mom's key. Okay. We don't need to blow that up. We have the candle, but I blew it up anyway because we have bombs. So there's that. I think we just hold on to the two of diamonds for now until we don't need to hold on to the two of diamonds anymore. So we haven't found the secret room, right? No, we found the super secret, not the secret. So secret could be here. All right, I think we just go. There's more rooms over there, at least one room that we have not been in, but I think we just go. Open for another angel room here. The Carrion Queen. This is champion carrying queen, it's the one that makes the little pink hearts. Okay. Angel room again, A+. Plus. Well, I mean, that's another trinket we're just gonna leave behind. Placenta's good. Uh-huh. Well, we kill the angel once again because it drops normal items. We have the feather. I guess if we take damage here. Oh, dang. Stop. Stop grabbing those items. Okay. Guardian angel. We didn't take damage. We don't need any of this stuff in here. We don't need this, but I'm gonna take it for the regen. I think we're good. We have multiple trinkets. We have our two of diamonds, we have the feather, we're out of here. Okay. Spawns a trap door. A was. Okay, we keep going. Yeah, 4.5 volt, or I'm sorry, not 4.5 volt, 120 volt is super effective against multi-segment bosses like Larry. Easy. Okay, this might be secret room here. There's greed. 50% off. So much money. And then we also have the two of diamonds. I don't know what we're going to spend all this money on. Well, what I do know, since that was regular greed, lucky penny, nice. This is a regular shop. It's got some garbage items in it, though. We can roll them. This is also a mom item, so I will take it. Yes, mother. Credit card. Mama Mega.
I'm gonna hold on to that for just a moment. I don't think we're gonna buy Mama Mega. This is good. Now I can use all these pills. I can see forever. Some tears up. I don't think that does anything. Another I can see forever. Health up. More tears. This is good. Strength. Something's wrong. Just get rid of that pill. Oh, I should use the two of diamonds. Okay, we're at 78 cents. Uh, more cards. Two of spades, wheel of fortune, two of spades. I'll double my keys. This other one will double my keys again. Two of spades. Hermit, sun, wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Two credit cards. Wow. Okay. So the credit cards. We don't need to take the sharp key. The credit card. We can get double deals without actually causing us to be locked into double deals. So if we get a double room. Oh, we walked over the spike rock. If we get a double deal, then I can use a credit card and still take the item essentially for free. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the loss for the rest of this. I've taken far too much damage here. I don't want to lose our deal chance. Mm hmm. Is there any marked rocks in here? Don't see any. Still no planetarium. Okay, this is womb one. Or uh, depths one, I mean. Sorry, not womb. Hollow, hollow. To the moon! This way. Is our planetarium gonna be here? Okay, what do we got in this room? That's tempting. Okay, soul heart that we don't need. Aha, uh -huh, so that is actually kind of interesting. I don't think we'll be able to use it though. Not without finding like a super secret that has a lot of health in it. Right, we had the extra juicy chest because of mom's key. Wait, did I just pick up that heart? Oh yeah, that's right, I was down a heart. Well, let's see what we can do here. Maybe get some black hearts out of these, or like a card to give us health, or I don't know. Ooh, Ace of Hearts. Little, little. Oh, Sun card. Do we have another Sun card? I don't think we can do that because I think that actually cracks our um, our Bone Heart if we touch that again. We can test that after we fight the boss. All right, let's actually go fight the boss real quick, and then we'll continue on with these shenanigans and see what else we can come up with. We can also get some black hearts out of that. We might just use our soul hearts for the for that room. I'm not entirely sure yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just use the loss. I don't want to lose our deal chance if possible. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we didn't get a deal chance, or we didn't get a deal. 
Uh, toothpicks. That's fine. Uh, we have plenty of bombs. Let's start blowing these things up. Rules card. Do 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 do. Yeah, I mean, we could just AFK for our health to fill up. That's a thing. We could try and get a lot of hearts in the shop. We do have those machines in there, and we can turn all of the drops that we get from those. Like, we can blow them up and gamble on them into hearts. So, that's another opportunity there. I think that's the next thing we try, actually. If we can get a whole bunch of health, I mean, we can just AFK and let our health fill up, but that's going to be long and boring, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, we do have a full heart in here. We have a strength card, so that's another health up. We have a sun card. Okay, let's go use some of this stuff. Uh, so strength card, that'll just fill up my health right now. Sun. All right, let's take the sun card with us. That'll fill up our health. And then we'll try and gamble a little bit, get some items in there, and then turn all those items into hearts. We we'll probably take that moon card and drop it in there as well. Okay, so do that. And this. Sun. Touch it again. I feel blessed. So what are we at right now? 33% chance for a teleport to the angel room. Fool, we have another sun card here, so let's use this one. The sun. Hype. Okay. Uh, circle protection is pretty good. So this should be Uriel, I do believe. Yeah, because these angels rotate. Eh, breath of life. Not good. I'll touch it and put it back down, I guess. Whatever. Alright. Uh, so we go back into here. Pool card. We get another... I was thinking if I should just hold on to this fool card or not, but we will get another fool card. Mm, you know what? We'll just take the moon card and drop that off. We will get another fool card next floor just by blowing up a skull, right? It's guaranteed, and we need that to go into the mother fight or uh, the beast fight. So we will drop that here. Hermit, Ace of Hearts, credit card... Okay, let's start gambling. I actually want this heart. Hey, a pretty fly. Nice. We got three orbitals now. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. Come on, big money, big money, big money, no whammies! Another pretty fly that doesn't- oh my goodness, they're just giving us so much money! Okay. So we have the Ace of Hearts, the Moon, the Hermit, just making sure there's nothing in here that I will regret. No, I think we're fine. Let's just ace of hearts everything. Okay, so now we have plenty of red health to come back in here and throw at that sacrifice room. And I'll just take that fool card with me. Only problem is we have to travel all the way to the other side of the map and we can only give one heart at a time. 
Okay, let's uh, do a one of those. Okay, so then we spawn Uriel. Let me go grab more health real quick. I am really hoping Uriel will drop not a key piece, but an item because of our trinket. I don't remember if we tested this before. That's all we need. Just something so we can touch it with red health and not give up health. All right, Uriel. Sweet, that's what we're looking for. All right, so I can touch it again. We get money, then I can touch the halo to fill up my health. We now have Seraphim, which I'm not really sure. Looks like that gives us a little bit of damage. No, I think that was just from the halo. And then Gabriel. Come on, Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart. Ah, uh, not really what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, we're just going to take the fool with us. <laughs> We've got so many angel items on this run and we have so many item rooms left behind that we are just going to continue to leave behind. Uh, what is this pill? Health up. Yep. Don't need that. Okay. Let's go. All right, so this is the floor we need to use the Fool card on. <laughs> very good, very good. What do we got here? Just some spider actions. That thing's gonna blow up. Let's just shoot it. This one does a Necronomicon. Lovers. Mm hmm. This way. Get done. Yeah, we are looking really good here. Super greed? No. Regular shop. Mom's box will double our trinket. Let's just see what trinket this gives us. Hmm. We might come back for that. Maybe. We find something really good, we might come back for that. Something's wrong, infested. Okay. Well, oh, these things are strong, they take two hits. So that's the mom fight. We have to warp out of there. Um, let's continue looking. Maybe we missed the planetarium somewhere. If there's no planetarium on this floor, I think we're safe to just take the item rooms because I don't think planetarium spawn going to the home. We'll leave this alone for now. We will continue upwards and see if there's a planetarium up here. Mm 
Mhm. That guy's gonna blow up, isn't he? Is this secret room? It didn't look like that bomb blew up close enough to uh, be for sure. Nope. Okay. Super secret. Nope. Okay, so no planetarium. Even though we skipped so many item rooms, that is unfortunate. We do have our full card. Let's go into the item room then. Evil. All right. Well, let's go fight Mom's foot. Warp out of there. And we go towards home. Yep. Yeah, let's do this. I was thinking if there's anything else we should do, but we have spent so much time on this run. And we got another angel room. Oh my goodness, so much hype. I think we're going to take the Polaroid once again. Angel room. Spectral tears. Fire rate. Well, before we do any of that, let's just pop the angel. This should be Gabriel. Oh no, it's Uriel. Did we fight Gabriel last? I guess we must have. I don't recall though. Uh, Blood of the Martyr, that's more damage. We'll take this. And we warp out of here. The fool. Oh yeah, I guess it didn't matter if we took the Polaroid or not, huh? Yeah, that didn't matter. All right. There are some cards left behind. I should probably grab that black heart too. Lovers, that might be useful. What was the card down here? Devil. I mean... Plus two damage for current room. Damage increases doubled. Actually, that might be worth taking. And we also have that other thing. We don't need the feather item anymore, I'm pretty sure. Let's go grab mom's box. I don't think the candle's really gonna do much for us at this point. Candle's good early game for like higher damage, but honestly, it's not a great item. I think this, slowing cheers. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna take that even though that's not the most ideal item to take. What is the trinket that's in this room up here? Ringworm. 0 0.8 tears up, grants spectral tears. Yeah, I don't think we take that. I think we've looked at that many times and like it makes your tears do really weird things. All right, we're out of here. Guiana 2. Mm-hmm. Don't think I want that. All right, let's go this way. Magic 8-Ball. That gives us planetarium chance, but I think it's a little late for that now. Tower, don't think I need that. Shops will now appear in the womb and corpse. I think you have to enter the floor with that in order for that to happen.
Oh, we have flight. I could have just flown over those spikes. Oh, okay, I didn't see that guy. We go up this way. Mm-hmm. What trinket we get here? Isaac said, familiar with piercing damage? Just move that out of the way. I actually want to go into this cursed room down here. Some spiders. Troll bombs. All right, we are almost capped on money. Not that that really matters much for this run, but. Now we are capped on money. <laughs> All right, let's continue exploring just a little bit. I think, I think we'd be fine doing that. Tower card we don't want. We did the mini boss. Mm hmm. What do we got here? No. Oh, lucky penny. Nice. I'm not sure I want the rotten hearts. So I think we leave that alone. Some regular hearts over here. All right, shop. The blue candle. Infested pill. Sure, we'll take this. Keys, bombs. I mean, I guess we could see if we get another good trinket. 100% chance at eight luck. Yeah, I don't think those are really worth taking. Let's just keep exploring here. You know, I thought we didn't have a chance for planetarium anymore and I was absolutely wrong. I think we're gonna leave that for the way back. Whoa, okay. That just happened. Seven tier rates. Pretty good. Perth row. Oh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, I would purr through the item room, but I don't know what the items are that we're going to get from there. So, I think... Spectral Tears, Tears Moving Waves. That actually doesn't give us Tears Up. Okay. It says it does. It actually doesn't. Because I think we are too high on tier rate at the moment. Uh, yeah, I think we just go. This is Dad's note. Going down. Maybe we'll get a really good trinket if we can get cancer. That'd be like fantastic. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? How could you have spent our savings? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. All right, item room. Um, I think we'll take Rainbow Baby. Seems 
seems pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Heals half a heart when using keys, turn half hearts into full hearts. Oh, I didn't see that little skeleton. I was like, what is still alive? Tears up. Does that actually do anything or are we capped? We're capped. Making sure. Take another black heart. That is absolutely acceptable. Did I just hit that rock away? I think I just hit that rock away. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. All right, we have our devil card. We have that. Yep, we are. Uh, let's actually use this. Yeah. Um. It's very tempting. I think we hold out for something better. That's interesting. The uh, delirium room still shows. All right, lunch bag. I don't think we need that. We're full up on money. We keep going here. Tears up. Doesn't do anything, but I'm still going to continue to take them. Maybe we get something that gives us tears down or whatever. And I think that even though like we're capped on tears, like we're our stat is still above that cap. I know it's silly. It's probably not going to happen. It doesn't even matter, but I'm going to do it anyway. More infested. Another lucky penny, that is great. The more luck we have, the better off we're gonna be. Just a bunch of red hearts in here. That's all we got. All right, we're out of here, next floor. Luck-based tier effects. I don't think we have any luck-based tier effects at this point. The only thing we have is a slowing tiers, and that comes from a trinket, so that doesn't matter. I'm probably going to be sad leaving that behind, but we go. He's self-destructive and disturbed just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. He's your drunk again. Shut up, man. Shut up. Just keep pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave. We'll be fine without you. Abandon us like you've abandoned yourself. Get zapped. Oh, okay. That guy shot tears out I wasn't expecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of our item rooms is probably going to have luck-based tier effects. 9% chance to gain flight after killing an enemy. We don't care about that. Lost soul. The dies in one hit respawning at the start of the next floor. If it survives an entire floor, it spawns two soul. I mean, I guess that's fine. I'd like to have rolled that, but it's whatever. So many consumables. Oh my goodness. One lost soul. You're safe with me, buddy. I hope. Oh, 
Okay. Going to the next floor. I thought that was the way up to the next floor. No, it's over here. Yep, let's go. Ooh, it dropped us some stuff. All right, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna leave that card behind. All right, let's do this, this. Oh, yep, that's coming with us. Red patch, I don't care about what's in here. Key bomb. Sure. Yeah, we can take key bomb with us. We don't need keys anymore. We got 65 of them. All right, keep clearing here. I like how that got repelled as a homing shot. Yo, that guy's so big. Brainworm. Oh. Brainworm or the curved horn, guys? I don't know. Why did it have to give me brainworm? That is such a hard decision. We have six damage with brainworm. We have. 10 damage. Oh man. I think with the conjoined, the brain worm makes the most sense because that's essentially tripling our potential damage. Okay, that's fine though. Yeah, as much as I would really like to take that curved horn with me, I think the brain worm makes the most sense because these shots can all like redirect at the target and that will do more damage overall. All right, brain worm it is. Decisions made. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. You are taking this too far. Did you hear how you sound? Pray with me. Pray for your salvation. Come, pray with us, Isaac. Okay. I guess I could have rolled that. I probably should have rolled that. If I roll now, does that spawn a new item? It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I definitely should have rolled that item instead of taking it. I got caught up in the moment. It's like, ooh, item. The lovers. Okay, faded. Doesn't really help us much, I don't think. Health up does not help us at all either. Uh-huh. Would this guy give us anything that would be useful? I don't think so. He's going to give us health up, which isn't going to be helpful to us. Okay. So I kind of want to use the cracked key, but I don't know where to use it. I think this room... More bombs, huh? Oh no, my guy! I'm sorry, little buddy. Okay, we go back to the boss room and grab the other cracked key. Yo, where this ghost pepper come from? Did our little buddy drop us a ghost pepper for keeping him alive on the previous floor? Dude. How often do we ghost pepper? Not as often as I would like, but that's going to help out tremendously against enemies. Okay.
We have our cracked key. We have a brain worm. We go. No, come on, little guy. Why did you walk right into the enemy? Oh, and I actually took damage, man. I've been I was taking all sorts of damage there. Okay. Oh, there's an invisible guy. Didn't see him because he's invisible, obviously. Deck of cards. All right, what you got? A cracked key? No, the Ooh. fool. Yeah, that lost soul, that could be really powerful on these floors as long as you keep them alive. All those extra items, those are really juicy. Okay. Uh-huh. Chariot. Protect you from the first damage you take on every floor. Oh, there goes my shield. Bouncy tears. Very good. Uh-huh. Nice. Push pin, yeah, I don't really care about piercing tears. Okay. We got our cracks key, we got our brain worm, we're go. Guys are so Don't tanky. Alright, go go go. <laughs> no, give me this back. Alright, let's just do it this way. Don't die, lost soul. <sighs> I really want the lost soul to stay alive. I guess we could just leave the floor right now and be good. Trinket, Keen's Eye. Um. Very good. I like it. So I don't... Did we find the path up yet? I don't think we did. Oh, it's right there. So yeah, we could just go. Hmm. I think we just go. Oh, yep, that was basement one. Didn't realize. But it should still give us an item. Okay, give us that. Not ideal. Alright, those are useless to us. 
Well, actually, I guess I could take one for essentially a free hit. All right, cracked key. Which button? This button? This button. You unlocked the forgotten. You unlocked challenge 42, hot potato. Mom's underwear. A little bit of range, we could definitely use that. All right, to bed we go. Feeling pretty good about this run. Feeling pretty good about it. Oh no, our guy just died right away. What the heck? Okay, we got rid of that. That was close. That almost got us. All right. That wasn't so bad. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Actually, I should probably keep this in the center. Yo, is my body moving around? Oh, I can tug it around. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I didn't know I'd be able to tug it around. All right, that's, that's real good. Whoa, okay, it's like tugging me back and forth. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, dang, I got too close to war. Did I just deflect that? Is that what just happened? I'm not actually sure what happened there. Okay, I only have two soul hearts remaining. We're gonna hold on to that for a little bit. Oh. All right, let's just apply this damage as fast as possible here. Nice. 
Okay, so for this part, this is gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna try and be on the loss for as much as possible on this. I don't know why my guy's tugging me. But I guess, I guess the uh, beast doesn't actually fire at us. We'll go into this mode right now. I'd rather be safe. All right. Mm-hmm. If I could just poke the beast with my knife, that'd be really good, but I don't really want to attempt to take that much damage, but we can still get it with the, the rings, the monstrance, and the circle protection. All right, there we go. We win. The sky above cracked open, and a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping, and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late-night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights, and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry, pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well, he saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of the hill. Spirit Shackles has appeared in the basement, guys. We are done with the hard mode of this character, the Forgotten. So we have Greedier to do left, and then we only have two characters remaining, Bethany and then Jacob and Esau. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. We have come so far on the progression of the save file. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it for this episode. Hit the thumbs up if you liked if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I did wrong, what I could have done better, or if you have any tips or tricks for me. Leave them down there as well. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.